definitely not the best idea. At one point, I had a hundred and something. I think a hundred and ten around there. Um, oh my gosh, what just happened here? <laughs> thank you, thank you for the follow. It like flies across my screen. I see you. Oh, here they come. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wait, where are you? I am trying. Where are you? There you are. Come be mad at me. Okay. Yikes. Everything is going off here. Thank you, everyone, for the follows. Thank you. Ow! Ow. He hit me. There we go. And we have a drowned. And something stole a block. Wow. They just keep coming. Thank you so much, everyone. Let me just kill this drowned, and then I can actually look up properly. Here they all go. Wow. Alias, oh, no, Atlas Wild and P3K3. Yay. Wow. So it's like a double raid almost. That is awesome. Thank you so very much, everyone. And welcome, welcome to the stream. Before I get killed here. No. You were not supposed to bounce my arrow. I, I have my new bow, and I'm not so good at it. Wow, this is going on for a while. <laughs> yes, I kill the Endermen because I need their Ender Pearls. Other than that, and I, I kill these guys now because I need dynamite. Because I am redecorating. Did you guys leave me any bones? He's like hanging out in the water for the longest time. Wow, welcome, 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 everyone. Wow. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> it's going to be going for a little while. It has a, a five second cooldown on it. So, wow. Oh, look at all the bones. This is my little kill area. Um, I'm not lighting it up just so that I can keep it for mob spawns. And I can hide behind the fence and shoot them from a distance. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, everyone, and welcome. This is my single player um, vanilla, pure vanilla. So there are no mods of any kind whatsoever, which is makes it to me a lot tougher. Um, completely unmodded uh, game. And so fences are kind of really important to me or I'd die. Oh, wow. Yes, bits are awesome. They are so, so awesome. Thank you so much. Here is my polar bear aquarium. Um, today, and here are my rogue chickens, which when I need food, I kill them with my other bow and <laughs> they turn into fried chicken, which is awesome too. And I really need to eat. I don't remember to eat. So today we, I had gone yesterday when I did my stream. Um, we went out to my coral area where I have the coral and we got a ton of these and we picked up a lot of fish. And I know there's still another single one in here, and that's going to drive me crazy until I find it. It's here somewhere. I taught, saw two singles. But these are not singles. These are all... I have them lit up because I don't want the drown to spawn in here, and I don't know how you get the spawn to not spawn in here. So, yeah. They do, spontaneously. Which is why I went from like a hundred and something villagers to... 10 in this part of the village and 10 in the other part. So this is the latest build. This is my polar bear. Um, it has a few fish in it, which are salmon. And it's got the coral and it has the kelp and it has some seagrass. You can see the salmon there. Um, the polar bear is based on the deviant art by Justin Hill. Zero, I did that wrong. He's not zero, one, two, three. He's zero, zero, one, three, two, I think. I'll have to check that. <laughs> But yes, he did DeviantArt, and I found his polar bear, which is a solid polar bear, and turn it into an aquarium. There is a hole at the top that you can actually go in, and that is where I'll be putting the fish in. So I'll take you on a quick tour of the place. Um, I was making banners, because I like making banners. So this is my boat banner. I don't know where I'm going to put it. 
but it's going to go somewhere and then I'll put boats there. Here's the fishing shack. In the fishing shack is where I have the fish. There are, I think, 22 named fish. So like parrotfish, Moorish idol, emperor red snapper, all of these ones. Um, funnily enough, I kept picking up a lot of butterfly fish and sending them back. And I didn't remember to bring two back home with me. My bad. Fish also, outside of those 22 that are named, also have these, which are just the type of fish they are and the colors they come in. So I've been collecting those two. My goal is to get them all. Not going to happen. There's over a thousand of them. This is the lower village. This is their garden. This used to be my test garden where I had like copies of them all. And you can bow mail pickles on coral to get more pickles. I thought I had tried that and it didn't work. But I have coral so I can try. This is my original pond. This is my extra fish <laughs> where I have like three or four or in some cases six of the same fish. Um, they're in here hanging out. But along the edges of here is where my original garden was when I first started this entire thing. This was my tree to tell me where I was because I used it. Um, this again is part of the lower village. It comes around this way. And then I have a few extra buildings this way. And then in here is my igloo. So I have a giant igloo, back up a bit. That is where my nether portal is. And then, so the nether portal's there. On this side is all my brewing. So I have, I heard that. The, oh, you produce gold, therefore you die. Hopefully. I'm guessing the second shot. And there was just the one of you, right? I'm not about to lose all my levels. Good. So this is the brewing room. Um, all the possible uh, potions that you can make, all the stuff you need to get it. Brewing stands, crafting tables. On this side is all of my enchanting. So we've got our anvils, uh, different picks in the books to go with them. These ones, I just don't have enough levels to actually make them better. These are the books to go with them. Same with my bows. I fish up a lot of bows. So I need another power four. Do I have a power four? And you can't put mending on a, oh, I don't want flame. I have a flame bow. Power four, I'm breaking three. Maybe. You can't put it on an infinity bow. You used to be able to, and I had a bow, essentially a legacy bow, and then I died, and it despawned, which is very upsetting. Uh, power five, that'll work. Yay. Uh, these are random books I don't quite know what to do with. Riptide and Riptide. Well, okay, just Riptide and Riptide. My fishing, I have a lot of fishing bows. So there's a lot. My swords, my nice little gold ones, and then all the different stuff to go with it. And then just for equipment, for walking and, and stuff like that. I'm like, meh. Maybe he gave me that little tiny piece. I am sad. Black banner, pink banner goes there. I have a lot of stuff on me I don't really need. Oh, well. So that's in the igloo. Uh, this area has nothing but the entrance. So we'll go with that. So we have the village, and then over here, let's hop up, are my turtles, who are laying the eggs randomly all over the place. They're supposed to only lay their eggs where they were born. These guys don't understand that mechanic as well. They don't really listen. So I am trying to collect, why are they all falling in the water? <laughs> let's go get that. Uh, most of them were born over here, so I don't know what's going on. That was weird sounding. Oh, and there's one floating in the water there. So I have four turtles. I've had up to 20-something of them in here because I was breeding them and waiting for them to actually hatch so that I could get um, their... Oh, Riptide is for the trident. Okay. Yeah, 
I haven't done that at all because the Trident guys, yeah, once I see them and I can't run, I just flip on F3 and consider myself dead. I try and get away, but it doesn't work very well. They just kill me over and over again. So yes, I made it nice and sandy for them to have their little eggs and stuff on. Come back here, you guys. Come here. Come here. I hate going in there. So this is their little... He's going to be like that, aren't you? There. Now, go make a little more eggs. So let's put that in there. We can take that stack with us. And we need two more stacks. All right, so this is the shed. It contains nothing. One of my secret beds. I have beds like all over the place just in case. And then we have our armor. We have our carrots, <laughs> full carrots, full of wheat, full of hay, slowly becoming full of bees. Oh my gosh, more. <laughs> Thank you for the follows. Um, I don't think I have the loyalty one. This is for breeding my horses. Um, obviously, I have ender chests everywhere as well, which is why I keep needing... There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, I keep needing to have more... Wow, that is out of control. <laughs> Let's go inside. This is my, I have no idea what I'm saying actually. Um, my pigs, my cows, my llamas, and my horses, my donkeys, and my mules. So they're in here. Uh, that one is empty. I have all the llamas, a pair of all of them. Oh no, what I forgot? I forgot the mushroom banner. I'm sorry guys. So my cows, my pigs, my mushrooms, my mules, my donkeys, and that's milkshake, chocolate milk, and uh, charcoal are in here. They're the only named horses. Yeah. Well, the banners, there is a website that actually has banners on it. And you have to go through it and figure out which ones are good in survival and which ones are not. So I am a big fan of banners. Um, I've tried making some of my own and redoing what they have. Uh, the polar bear one, which I'm carrying right now, uh, it is like that, but I have every horse in the game as a pair So I think we decided he was light brown solid and That one is socks But I need dark brown. I'm missing one. I'm missing dark brown solid Ooh, Oh my gosh <laughs> I love my world too. Thank you. And thank you for the bits. So yeah, so these are all these guys. And then this barn actually has an upstairs. I was trying to figure out how to do the upstairs from inside, but it's a lot easier to do. Oh, and when they're breeding and it's raining, don't even bother. Like, don't even try moving. It lags the game so hard. So up here are even more. And then over here are the rest. So there are 35 horses and I have 34 of them I think I may have the 35th one and not realize it because I have one two three four did I get all four I have these you guys are still hanging out with your eggs originally when I was getting these I was actually sitting on an island just breeding the turtles <laughs> chasing them down to make them come back when they try to go off into the ocean but I have all of these horses and the problem with these horses is that they don't breed true so if I breed this one here and this one here which I do believe are like the same horse they could produce this one here <laughs> or this one or that one like, there's no way to know. Oh, for the light levels as well, just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. Um, that is why I put the sea cucumbers in the water. So they're in a grid. Like, everything's in a grid of five. So it's five by five. 
on the fifth block will be light. And then I'm putting four. Right now I only have one, but I have to put four in each one, and it should be good. Oh, what happened to him? It's like he got shot or something by something. That was weird. Anyways, there's the front of the polar bear. So that is the, the actual barn. That's the shed. This over here, I am on a multiplayer server. It's called the Baconator server. And one of the things that was built on the Baconator server was this lovely cottage and that is where tactical bacon and i lived and people could come visit us here so this is it has a name it's housey macau space so that's what it's called and Tackback actually designed the exterior to it he built the bridge to it i went into that world took a ton of screenshots and then built it here again um, it's not exact because I don't have the same shape land to be able to put it on. Um, so the bridge doesn't come all the way out here. The bridge actually goes to here in that world. But I didn't feel like like ripping a chunk of the land off to do it. Yep. Well, F3 is full of so much detail. It's like, eh, it's too much detail. I just use it to figure out where I am so that I'm I can come back to it. And I'm not lost anymore. Or if I find something I like, I can do it. All right, so inside, this is Tackback's office. So he's got his TB up there. He's got his three monitors, his keyboard, his bookcase, his gaming chair, another bookcase, the flowers that he likes. Um, I actually, oh, and his cup that he always leaves on here because he never remembers to put his cups away. And I accidentally bred another dog, so I put the dog in here, even though we have a cat <laughs> instead. Um, yeah, right underneath our house in the Baconator server, there is a ravine of death. <laughs> like, the storeroom, which I'll show you in a second, is exactly how low you can go, because if you go one block lower, it's a straight drop to death. <laughs> this is our big screen TV and our jukebox, and our whole two music discs. <laughs> that's all we have. Our couch with our lovely design on it. I always said that that's his sister gave us that because that is something his sister would do. Give us something really pretty like that. Our beautiful carpet, the storeroom where I dominate. Uh, in here is actually where all the blocks in the game are. Not rain again. What is with this rain? I put nothing in here. The signs say nothing on them. Um, I am missing the picture that goes here because I can't get it to come up for some reason. Uh, something in the new mechanics won't let it be here, so I'm trying to figure out how to make it on here. So yeah, we have Donkey Kong playing on the big TV, but all of these contain all the blocks in the game. So what you're seeing down there is more chests. They're empty, but they are literally as low as you can go. The block under that is nothingness. Do I use the Optifine mod? No, I use no mods whatsoever. I would love to use the Optifine mod, but I have said this was going to be a completely mod free and that would be a mod. Um, I also love some of the texture packs out there, but I'm not using them either. It is <laughs> pure vanilla extract. Yep, we can make cookies with mine. These are also full of all the foods inside of the other game, but I didn't feel like coming in and filling up all the foods in all of these chests. This is just like an homage. Oh, here comes the lag again. So we have a sink, we have our fridge, we have our double stoves. And then in here, even the pictures are the same. And this is the bedroom. So I have the pictures the same. In here are gear that we have. Um, I made him his diamond gear. I have my chainmail gear. All of the rest of this is exactly what it looks like in there. So if at some point you do want to come and play, yes, it does give you the ability to hide the weather, but as much as it lags the game, I do still like it. Um, it is nighttime, so yellow is my favorite color. I'm going to sleep the rain away. Yeah, I am very dedicated to it. I am very tempted <laughs> a lot of the times but I don't do it. So in here is all my special stuff. In here is where Attack Back dumps all his special stuff. This is all our gear, so weapons and equipment. 
What an amazing view of the polar bear. So that's all in there. This is our porch, which again, in the Baconator world, you can jump off the edge of because there's water down there. I can't really do that in this one, <laughs> but I jump off anyways. There we go. That is our ladder to the roof. And out here is nothingness right now. I haven't decided what to put here, but I did fence it and I fenced it. I heard that. There was a bat. <laughs> bat screeches. Yep. There's a bat underneath, which means there's more caves. This place is littered with caves. So yeah, I did it all the way down so that it's completely blocked off so they can't walk under. The drowned are kind of a pain. So this whole area is currently unknown what it's gonna be done. Um, we do have a hot tub in the Baconator server, which I really like. Oh, I forgot there was a bridge here. Yeah, that's part of what I was supposed to do today was make bridges. Oh, well, I'll have to find the stuff for that. So I wanna make the hot tub. Again, Tackback made the hot tub, but I'll have to take a ton of pictures of it and then put that up on my other lap on my laptop and then rebuild it. It actually has like bubbly water. It is so awesome. Um, so it has that, although I'm not sure how that's gonna work now because the magma cubes, the bubbly water drags you down. So you might drain in the hot tub. Like that drowning there might not be good. Yeah. We're gonna have to work on that. But we do have a hot tub that I'm probably gonna build here. We did have some other buildings, but they are duplicates of what is in the igloo, which we cannot see, which is somewhere behind there. So to get off of here, you can go over there. You can come over here. I was gonna do another bridge over here, but the expanse is so big, it doesn't make any sense. I am thinking of putting another fishing hut because there's one fishing hut there and doing another one over, say, there or on this piece of land here. So there'll be a hot tub, maybe a fishing hut, um, maybe somewhere just a dock to put boats and make this the place where the boats go. That I don't know. There is a bridge I plan to build today. Uh, there was much discussion yesterday uh, after the stream as to what it would be made of. And we decided it would be spruce. All of my fencing is spruce. So I had to grow a spruce tree. Because although I do have spruce, I don't have a lot of spruce. So the bubbly water is made from nether rock, fire below glow. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna work with the new water, but we'll see. Um, the Baconator world is in this the same one i am up to date i don't also play snapshots because there's a chance it'll corrupt the world and that would be really really bad all right so this tree exists because i need to find my way home this building is an original building um, i built in a village but i extended the building a little bit because i needed more space inside <laughs> and i took out the building that was here so that one is missing that one I built because I needed a storage room because storage in here got out of control. I'm also a completionist player. It might've been lava, that I don't know. So I have stacks of everything except for bunnies because I can't get bunnies around here. I can't breed bunnies. I am surrounded by wolves everywhere. And every time I try to bring bunnies, they kill them. Down here. Uh, all the soups, all the mushrooms, all the beets. I even have rabbit stew in here. I even have the dried kelp now. Um, in here I have the regular kelp. I have everything cooked. Again, I'm still trying to fill in the bunnies. Down here are all the other types of food. I need chorus fruit to go in here to complete that. This whole sand makes you go up. Hmm. This is my, if I run out of food, I'll eat potatoes, bones, bone meals, etc. This is one of my seed chests. So that goes there. This goes in the other chest. Oops, I should have put bones in the bone chest. Uh, this here is where I actually eat out of. This is the, oops, I killed it, or oops, I made too many. So I put them in here and this is where I pull my food from. There's all my coal. Um, 
I don't collect coal now unless I really am bored and feel like it because I have too much coal. I've actually been trading. This used to be a full row. And then I wanted emeralds, so I did that. In here uh, is all the new stuff because this chest wasn't here before. So I have six Heart of the Seas, I have 10 Nautilus shells, and I have one Phantom Membrane. Um, the... I live on Hanos because I live in the Nether most of the time. I'm terrified of the Nether. <laughs> like, I have another hub, sort of, and I have a tunnel that leads me to my Nether Fortress, which I do have, but it doesn't quite lead to the fortress. <laughs> it just ends <laughs> the stairs, and you can see down to it. I have been in it because I did get obviously, uh, stuff that I needed from there, but that was it. Um, the phantom membrane you get from killing phantoms, and it's used to fix elytras. I have found my end portal. It is quite the distance away, but I have not actually finished it yet, so I haven't been to the end. Uh, I have... I've had actually two enchanted gold apples. These are the notch apples. One I use to make a sign with, so... Yeah, and then golden apples, which are easy to make, and you can still make them. But you can't make notch apples. You can only find them. So this one I want to eat, but I have to wait until I've eaten everything else, and then this is going to be it. Oh, you can make a potion of salt. Hmm, that would be cool. Uh, I'm actually using it to fix my elytras when I get an elytra, because I don't know how to use an elytra. I've never actually had one. So that's a new thing. These are my base seeds, just in case something bad happens, I can save myself. So I have all this food. This is my travel box. So I have enough to fix what I need and all the stuff I need. This is my travel bow. It's a power five, mending, flame, unbreaking three. I didn't have a choice about the unbreaking three. That was just silly. Here are my reserves of iron and my reserves of gold, which is really sad, but you'll see why in a minute and all my water buckets. And then this is tack back, because I, although it's a single player, I do sometimes hook up a LAN, and he comes in and plays with me. Mostly, yeah, it's all natural GMO free. <laughs> it's just junk. Like, literally, it's all garbage in here. Like, I don't know. They're my iron and stone tools, my diamonds. I have 21, yay. My bow stuff, because my bow stuff is getting a little out of control. These are my other bows. Gear. I haven't made any of this gear. This is for killing stuff. Oh, they're made for fighting. Ooh, then I will need that. Because I really, 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 really want a... Um, I want the chess from the Shulkers. So this building is an original building. This technically was original... But it was over here. And I was like, this is a pain running around it each and every time. So I moved it over there. I literally took it apart brick by brick, <laughs> dug a hole, and put it over there. And what I dug out of the hole there, I put in here. So that's original building. This one is, this one is, and this one is. Um, this is me. This is my storage for dirt and uh, cobble because I have a ridiculous amount of it. That's just a library that is a copy of the library down here. Uh, I have to show you up here. This is one of my, my favorite things. This is my tree house. And I had to put them this far because they are such a pain. You're not gonna peek over the edge? Oh, you are peeking over the edge. This is where I put all my parrots. I have either three or four of each one that I have brought back from the jungle. How long have I been playing this world? Does it tell me how long I've been in it? Uh, F3. What day am I on? Uh, it's supposed to tell you what day you're in. Biome, lights, difficulties. Ah, day 2,234. So... I guess divide that by 360? <laughs> 365? Yeah, I've been in it a while. Quite a while now. So this is the treehouse. Built this up here. I did fall off of this, which should have been death, but I landed on the building below with half a heart. 
and I did it on stream and I had to stop building for a while because I thought I was going to have a heart attack because it scared me so bad. But yeah, bringing these guys up here, also a pain. But they're all up here. It's all lit up with the light levels that are needed. Um, and they stopped barking and meowing, which is awesome. And they stopped moaning and, and hissing, <laughs> all of those things that they do. They used to sleep right next to my, my house. That's where I was storing them. And it was, nope, let me out. They were right here and it was terrible. It was really terrible. Oh, I should explain why I have these pumpkins around here. They used to all be jack-o'-lanterns, but then when we switched to the new update, um, yeah, it turned a lot of them back into regular pumpkins. So that was kind of a pain. But every one of these are actually from going out and on an adventure. So when I'm on an adventure and I find a patch of pumpkins, it is good luck. So I stick a, a torch on top of one of them and I take one of them and I bring them home. So these are all of them that I have found. I have grown zero of these. Not one of these has come out of my garden. Not even these two up front. They are all from being out on adventures and finding them naturally. So it's kind of awesome. And they're always good luck. So when I actually decided to live here, I had found pumpkins as well. So that was cool. All right, so down this way, um, again, it's sort of part of that village, but not really. The fence used to go like behind all of here. This is my cat house. This is dog meat, bacon, cheetah, and cordon bleu. <laughs> so, uh, biome, that is a good question. I am, what am I am? I am in plains. I don't think it's all plains, but it's mostly plains. It's plains with river. So dog meat was named by Tackback after... I can never remember the game. All I can remember is Nuka-Cola. Um, in that game, the dog is named dog meat. So we named the cat dog meat. Bacon is his kind of name and cordon bleu. Um, then we had everybody in the game. So you guys actually are the ones who named them. So this is Cheetah. And let's go upstairs. Cheetah's partner is Lynx. And then we have a fourth black cat who is Porkchop. Follow. Yes, that's what it is. So he's named after that. And then this is Zeus and Artemis. So those are all my cats. I have, I do believe, eight of them. Right? Four down here, four upstairs. So those were all named by everyone. And then we just finally finished naming these guys. I have every color uh, possible of the dogs. So we have Darcy, Snowy, Chester, Luna. Luna was one of the last to be named. Jones, Frisbee, Barbie Girl, because it's aqua colored. Get it? Get it? Uh, uh, uh. Blue, because <laughs> I always name one blue. It's named after actually one of my friends, Liquid Blue. Sam was one of the last ones named. Twitch, because he's Twitch Purple. Um, these ones we have to do different. This is Pinky, and this is Brain, because I love Animaniacs. Uh, this is Red, because he's red. This one is Chicken, because I accidentally fed Red and Blue who were my only dogs at the time. I fed them chicken and made another one. So we have chicken. <laughs> then we have Bob, because you always have to have a Bob. And then we have Sir Patrick, because Sir Patrick plays the emoji, the poop emoji, and this is brown, so we named him Sir Patrick. Uh, I am going to sleep because I don't remember the last time I slept or where I slept. I think it was way over in the other place. So we'll sleep here. Again, two beds, just in case Tackback is in-game. Um, when he's in-game, he does not build in here. The only thing he does is resource type stuff. Um, so we're looking for gold. And I do have a Mesa biome in which I can go to where they have a whole bunch of the abandoned um, mine shafts in it. 
And so that's where you find a lot of gold. But you also find a lot of those spiders, which, frankly, they scare me to death. So he goes and, and does the spiders. <laughs> that church was also an original building. That lookout station was an original building. And I do believe that that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buildings. And that was it. All the rest of the buildings I made. This is my original storage hut after my home. So in here are all the woods, redstone. I just put all of the corals in here. So we have, I have the rest that I need for this. So those are good. Um, they're sitting at the coral place. And then I've started creating dead coral because I discovered there's dead coral. Yes, he does building if I do template stuff. So sometimes what I do is when I, I'm building these ones, I will pick out where they go and I'll put a chest here with the materials that are needed for it and then he can build it. And then we can pop these out. But I'm the one who collects all the materials to make sure that they're here. I think he did help me on one of these buildings once when we were doing them, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, um, I need to get more terracotta. I do have a field full of sugar cane, which I just recently turned into paper. I have found both of my mansions. I don't have any other mansions in my world, which is upsetting to me because I had a glitch. Um, my backup battery, in which my entire computer system is plugged into, decided it no longer wanted to be a battery and died. So there was no power going to my computer and it just shut down my game in the middle of playing my game. Well, unfortunately, it was also in the middle of a save. So when I got the backup battery switched out and put the new one in and got the game back up, my world was corrupted. So the nice thing is it was before this latest edition, so I was able to go in and use MC Edit to fix the chunks. Um, what you do is you essentially delete the chunk, save the world, and then when you reopen it again, it puts that chunk as it was originally. So I literally had to go and re-landscape some areas and redo them completely, fill them out, lower them down. I had to put fences back in. I had to do all of that stuff to fix the world. Um, there actually is an episode in which I show you me doing that. Um, so that way, you you know, it's legit. You can see that it's wrecked. I missed a block, so there is one way out there that you can actually see what happened. Um, that chunk is still out of sync with the world. It's still corrupted. So I was like, oh, I should fix this. Except for MC Edit is not up to date for this world, so I cannot do it. <laughs> and I can't downgrade the world fix it and then upgrade the world because that will destroy everything I've built so far. All right, so this is clay. I love collecting clay because why not? These are my color terracotta. These are the baked version of them. There's quite a bit of them. Those are what I use to build my worlds. That's empty. This is the concrete. I haven't figured out what to do with concrete powder. Like I haven't, I mean, there's stuff you can do with it, but I haven't found anything in the world I really wanna do. This is my weird chest of, I don't know what these are. There's a Woodland Explorer map, which I think I've already seen. Just random stuff. The two types of glasses, all the different colors of glass, two different types of sand, which reminds me, I think I'm cooking sand. And my torches for when I go adventuring. I have all the plants in the world, except for anything that might be in the end, which I don't have access to yet. And yeah, I'm having a serious ink problem right now. So there's all the colors. And that is, this is the one I spend the most time in. Then there, oh, this is my old picture of my world. It has obviously changed quite a bit because I created this to come around here and it comes around here now. Uh, this whole area is completely filled with horses and everything there. Um, there's a whole set of village in here now. Uh, back here is cleared out completely. This was my breeding farm originally for my villagers. I'm actually going to make one over here and one over here, back over here where the other village is, and put it underground. That way they'll keep breeding because there'll be enough doors. I don't think I have enough doors right now. 
And this has changed as well. This is the right up there. Not to mention this whole wall comes out further. So yeah, quite a bit of this has changed. <laughs> this fence comes way out over here, way out over here. This land has changed. This mountain is gone. Um, like this, this whole mountain is gone completely. This mountain is gone. And it comes straight across the fence now. This is partially filled in. I think some of these are filled in. And then the fence cuts across here. So yeah, it's it's radically changed. I don't want to really change it. I would like to build another map here, but it needs to be bigger. Like it needs to be taller. And I don't know how I'm going to fit it in here because I only have four blocks wide here. So it's going to have to go somewhere else. Any suggestions as to where it should go are greatly appreciated. This is anticipation of my finally getting a wither fight happening, which I am prepared for, but I kind of cheated it a little. Uh, I don't have enough gold <laughs> to do it. I was going to do it all gold. So this is a complete layer, except for the outside edge is in emerald blocks. And then this one is diamond blocks all the way around. I don't know what I'm going to fill this one in. I'm going to find another pretty block, and then I'm going to cover the top in gold again. <laughs> so it's going to be really weird. Aww. Hello, villagers. All four of you. They jump down here, and they crush my crops, and there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, this is where my beacon's going to be because originally this was going to be the middle of my map. It's not the middle of my map. This is the upper village. Uh, this one is somewhat identical to the one down below, but I built it first. Back here are my sheep pens. So all my sheep are in here. And the idea is that they can eat all of the grass except for they can't really reach this one under here. And this gives me the ability to jump up and out. So they can eat, and it will regrow all the grass again. Uh, sometimes I have seen them do it, though. Yeah. Not always. Um, you're reluctant. I somehow I... Yeah, you're reluctant to update your current map. <laughs> you're changing a mushroom biome. Why? From mushroom biome to grass? Hmm. It's a thought. I do have a lot of empty land. I would like some tall mushrooms, but just over in that direction, I have um, the dark oak forest, so it has some large mushrooms in it. So we'll have to see, but I would like some. I just don't know where I'd put them. Not yet. I am still looking at cutting that off and across. Uh, up there is fenced, weirdly. It's only fenced along this edge and along the other edge to stop stuff from dropping down here. It has been cleared with the idea of making an upper terrace up there. I just haven't done it yet. And then more sheep, lots of sheep, every color sheep. Um, that's true. They, But will they still do it even if... Um, even if it's grass, like I thought it was because of the actual soil that they couldn't spawn on. I used to have a ridiculous amount of chickens, but now I have a ridiculous amount of eggs. Uh, all of these are full. So if anybody's interested in having an omelet, I'm good to go. I do like, I heard it. Where is it? Oh, there we go. We have one named chicken. That's Henrietta. Also because of... So it's the biome. Okay. Well, then that's not as good. Because I was going to cover an area with mycelium and bank the giant ones. and But, yeah, my biome is not the correct biome. I have found the mushroom island, obviously, because I have mushrooms. Um, I have found... Um, I do believe I have the Adventure Time... Uh, achievement. One of the problem, I, I did get it actually off stream by accident. I didn't mean to get it, but I got it. Oh, we're going this way. So here is more village. Um, I found the last biome when I was going somewhere. It was like something weird. Oh, but phantoms can still spawn. Ooh, that's not cool. 
This is my other one. This is my miscellaneous weird stuff place. I'm carrying a sign. Yep. This is where all of the other stuff goes. So the strange blocks, the strange bricks. I was really mad to find out that when I hunted down this, all I had to do was mix dirt and gravel together and make my own. Grr. That was easy enough to do. Mycelium. That's easy to make now too. I'm like, but, but I went and found the biome for it. Why did you make it so easy? So I've been in the nether. This is my nether stuff. This is just about full because I didn't feel like doing it. Um, I took most of this out to build with today. So I do have the stuff I need to be able to make everything I need. I don't think there should be any buckets in there. No. Milk. There's no water because I'm using all the water and I have buckets of lava. These guys are fabulous to trade with. Um, I killed off all the ones that weren't. I have lots of all this stuff. And because I do have one of these biomes close by, I kind of went in and chopped it all up. Uh, train track stuff, I have quite a bit of that as well because, again, I have that one area, continent, that has it in it. So that's my two storage rooms. I have the one just over there. Hi. And the one over here, she said hi back, that is so cool. And the other one. And this is the upper village. They all had names at some point and I just forgot to put signs up for them. There's my upper library. For some reason I had a hole in the roof so I think it got struck by lightning, but it didn't spread even though fire spread is on. So these trees, um, there's my farm for there. That's where I usually farm for squid. So there's a sign down there. I've cleared part of up here because I thought about making the village go a little bit higher up, like spreading it this way more, but then I changed my mind. And I'm really bad for changing my mind. There are so many things that I have to do. Um, I cleared all of in here, chopped the walls down. I'm still looking for pixel art to put on the wall. Um, <laughs> I've killed people's off, so no. Yeah, it happens. But they're they're not real people. They're they're pretend people. But yeah, I just I killed off a whole bunch of them the other day because I was like, yeah, you're not trading anything good. Let's kill you, and then traded the rest. But I plan on putting. Um, there's a pathway right over there. It goes down, and it will go down into here there will be a lower village or something down there. And there will be upper village more along that way. Like I need more homes. Uh, there's going to be better builds though. Like not any more of these. I'm going to try and make more of these. Like the actual regular village ones. Put some pubs and things in just to kind of take that sort of, I don't know, it, it's getting a little uh, cartoony almost for me with so many of these really bright colored ones. I need some more just plain solids. Down here, and yes, I did carpet it in green with grass, which takes a really long time to grow all the way down to the bottom. So we are at, when we come down here, this is where I mine. I mine at 10. So I'm at 10. And now that chests don't have to be stacked weird, I could fix this, but I haven't been down here in so long, it's silly. I don't even mine properly. Like I have one on this side, one on this side, one here, and then a whole bunch of blocks before another one, <laughs> and then another one on this side, and another random one over here, and they're just as bad on the other side. They're all over the place. I have a ton of abandoned mine shafts down here. So it's almost hard to not hit one. I tried to fix over here so that it was like the proper way you're supposed to do mining. But then I got bored. I usually do this on my own time. I don't take you guys through my mining because frankly I didn't enjoy it. So why would you enjoy it? So I have Netflix on and I usually watch um, just some TV show on there. 
Um, that's how I go through and people are like, what are you watching? I'm like, I haven't got a clue what I'm watching. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the last thing I watched when I was mining. It was so long ago, but I watched like every episode. So I think I'm currently going through all of Star Trek The Next Generation, watching them all over again. So I figure 10 seasons, I should be able to get all of them in. Like I hope. I don't know. So this is my test garden. This is my everything major in the game. So the four major crops. Um, it is going to be like, I don't know how I'm going to put the chorus fruit in here. I don't know where I'm going to even put the chorus fruit for that matter. Um, I haven't put any thought into that. So there's my signs for all of my stuff. I haven't put the, there are lily pads normally on top of all of these so that you don't fall in. But these guys, this is dark brown, and I don't know if he is dark brown socks or if he is dark brown normal. I know he's spotted. Uh, I have a lot of problems with breeding the ones I th think are dark brown, and they spit out spotted ones. I have killed so many of these spotted horses, it is ridiculous. And there are still, like, that was two. Here's another one. You can see another one over there. Like, yeah, there are so many of them. So I'm trying to find the dark brown horses, breed them together to figure out what an actual dark brown horse looks like. Because it's hard to tell the dark brown horses from the nut ones. Because some of them are dark brown, some of them are, as you can see, dark brown with socks. But are they with socks? Or aren't they with socks? Hmm. The light brown ones, you can tell the difference because the light brown ones... These ones here are missing a black band. There's a black band across one of their, like across their legs. So other than that, they're identical. So the plain ones for this and the socks ones for this are the same, except for that black band. These guys don't have a black band. And you can see how many I have and it's like, I don't even know if this is like truly dark brown. He could be chestnut instead. Like, <laughs> it is so hard to figure it out. But I am literally one type of horse away from completion of this. And I have been trying to complete this since horses came out. Now, it wasn't in this world. Um, I have other worlds that I played in. Um, but I have not been able to get every single horse. This is also the first world I have not been able to get bunnies. I have a desert up there that has a ton of bunnies because that's where I go and kill them all. I'm sorry to say. Although the last time I went out there, there were no bunnies. None spawned. So that worried me. Actually, since this entire thing came out, I have not seen a single bunny. So we might have to take a day and just go looking for bunnies because all my bunny locations are bunnyless. Taking a peek at the time. Okay. Oh, we got to do the turtles again. The turtles also, they hatch at night apparently, which is a huge pain because then you don't sleep because you want them to hatch so that you can get their little shells that they drop but at the same time, then the phantoms come if you don't do it. And at midnight, you can get zombie like raids come in, which is what I think happened to most of my villagers, which is why I have so few now. I miss them. They were noisy. No, I don't want that. I want that. They were noisy. They were annoying. But they were mine. They were my villagers. Okay. You need to get back in the water. Go on. Go on. There you go. Watch out for the fish. So I had two dings. I need at least one more. Where are you going? Do you know where you're going? You don't know what you're doing. Come on. Come on. There. One more ding. Thank you three dings, so at least three of them should be breeding. I don't know how the mechanics of that worked. Uh, 
Um, oh, if it tells me what horse it is, I may cry. <laughs> like, I really might. All right. Uh, oh, dear. Okay. You are... Let me go find the other horse. You are a questionable horse. What are you? Uh, Minecraft horse. Uh, Minecraft horse. It works on the, well, it sort of works on the fish. It's just a horse. Really, is there nothing in here to tell me? I have a picture of somebody who spawned all the horses, did them up on a chart so that you could see what all the horses look like. But it's not that easy to actually see what they all look like. Like, it's quite difficult. I am going to steal your eggs. Sorry! My bad. Uh, where's the other one? I cracked two. Sometimes I lose eggs. I should have more than this. I have three. I cracked three from him. There we go. And two from him. Or her, I guess it is. What? How is it way over here? <sighs> yeah, they make terrible noises. And when you step on them, too. Like when you actually crack them by accident. Oh, they sound so bad. How are we doing for eggs? We're not doing too bad. I'll let you guys go again, but I do need to sleep. And what's happening here? Oh, he's still laying eggs. All right. Or oh, she. I don't know. Do he lay eggs in this game? I just don't know. Um, the fish. I can show you the fish. The fish. Well, I showed fish earlier. Um, I'm carrying eggs, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay. The fish only tell you what they are when they're in a bucket, as far as I know, because that's how I tell what they are. But let's go and check. I have some duplicates that are in the water here. There they are. So we point to the fish and it just says tropical fish. Yeah. And a bat takes off because there are lots of caves under here. Just terrible. Sometimes when I go into the, um, the room with the cobble and the dirt, it is terrible like just the moaning and groaning and the rattling and all that stuff and I go in I dig underneath I kill everything I light it all up again what was that something made a noise in the corner it is the only I would say sort of mod that I use and it's not a mod. It's just the closed captioning I have turned on and it is vanilla in the game. Um, I use it to be able to hear really well. <laughs> so in here, I know back under there somewhere deep down, there's badness. In here, I want to put, but it's only three high. I would love to put some kind of pixel art, but if there wasn't anything pixely I can do. That's only three high. I have dug down here several times. Um, when I do go through the tunneling system underneath, I end up way over there and then have to run all the way back. But there are a lot of bad things in here. But this is my world. I think we've pretty much seen all of it. I am going to put the polar bear sign on. I'm probably going to make two of them, actually. Oh, I should show you how to do that. It's a black banner. I'll show you how to duplicate a sign. Because you can see I have tons of these ones everywhere. And that is why I keep cutting that wool, the light blue wool. So this is a black one. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, six. There we go. 
I'm using my ender chests right now. Um, normally I use them as a dump chest. I just dump everything in there and then wherever I am, I can pick up whatever it is I need. But I can't do that right now because I am, oh, I can put these in here. Yay, we have a supply of 12. Because I always keep one. And sticks, sticks, sticks are here in the wood chest. And we can do this right here. So to make a duplicate, you need a blank. You need this. You need that. And it didn't work. Why didn't it work? 